Thank you, Lalita Ma. I would like to welcome our guest, Madam Sudhendra Devi and Anand Dhanashekar sir and our research supervisor, Dr. Sundra Murtiaya. Moving right along, it is now my pleasure to invite our research scholar, Mrs. Hema Malini, to give introduction to our beloved director, Dr. K. Permalaya. And Emma Mani, research scholar. A brief introduction on our director. The director, WCSC Vision Academy, Arya, Dr. K. Parmar Aya, was a physics professor in Sri Ramakrishna Mission Vidyalaya, and they served the institution for about 34 years. Under his guideship, 25 MPhil scholars and 10 PhD students have awarded degrees in the field of physics. He has undergone five research projects funded by UGC and Tamil Nadu State Council for Science and Technology. It has been 41 years since he joined the Sky System. Under his guidance, 10 MPhil and 1 PhD student were awarded the degrees in the field of Yoga for Human Excellence. At present, he is guiding 6 MPhil students and 7 PhD scholars. He has made uh, n number of publication in reputed journals. Thanks for the opportunity. Respected doctors, respected guides, and dear scholars, brothers and sisters, I am really very much happy to welcome all of you. So today, uh, Dr. M. V. Rabindranath, he'll be giving his idea about this vital fluid and the Kaya Kalpa. He has been helping us a lot for all our research program continued uh, Alia. And he is acting as a director R&D in Alia. And he has also completed a project coming under the DRDO in Banariaman Institute long back and that result was <coughs> very nice and uh, I, uh, that, that was the only research we had through the government agencies <coughs> and Dr. Abhindranath was much interested in all of our Samaji's philosophy in bringing the scientific concepts behind the Samaji's philosophy and um, he has a very big hospital in Coimbatore, Vasabi hospital in Big Bazaar Street and there also he is uh, serving as a doctor uh, uh, doing all kinds of voluntary services, free services to all the common people and with all his experience he could diagnose and he, he, he could simply uh, see the different types of diseases with the, uh, the allergies or what is the data he gains before going to the <coughs> different types of tests, uh, different types of games? Once we discuss with him, I think with all his expertise, he will find all the uh, sources of diseases. Such a wonderful man, and we are very much fortunate to have him. Already, he has given some lectures today, also, he will be presenting his lectures. I request all of our scholars. To use, Recording in progress. To use him fully and uh, take out his potential and interact with him more. Uh, I think that will be very much useful. I am happy to welcome uh, our doctor, Sodra Devi, Dr. Sanmagavail, Dr. Jay Prakas, Dr. Anand Kumar, Dan Shekhar. And all other doctors, I'm really very much happy to welcome all of them. And also our guide, Sundaram Bhutti, is regularly attending all of the webinars. And most of our scholars are attending. I take this opportunity to request all of our scholars, please attend this. Because to enrich our idea, to enlighten us over this concept, 
uh, all these experts they are giving their ideas in depth so if only we the scholars uh, take part and involve and get uh, enlightened that that will, then only the, the webinars will be useful therefore i request all of us scholars please attend all these webinars and also i request all the scholars even those who submitted the uh, thesis waiting for yoc till yoc you are considered to be students of our institute so till you complete yoc all of you please attend this even after completing yoc then it is your option we don't compel you you can attend that but till that you all should attend i that only will encourage us to arrange more experts and more webinars like this so once we complete this uh, kayakalpa webinar then we can go for other topics we can cover the exercise meditation introspection so everything i think we want to deal in depth and bring out all the uh, the scientific concepts behind it because samajik has given such a wonderful system even though they are very simple but they have a very deep scientific basis so that's why i request all of us scholars to attend this without any option and we will be getting so many ideas so all these scholars now you are you you will be becoming guides one day so when you become the guides if you attend all these webinars i think this interaction will be very much useful to you later on to guide your students and to get different topics coming here so i request all of us scholars please attend all the future webinars without any option and uh, make this interacting class more successful don't keep just silence or mum there because when you hear the lecture surely you will be getting some answers and the experts they are ready to uh, give the correct answer for every question here because they are all experts in different fields particularly in medical field they are all experts and anatomically physiologically uh, they can give a lot of answers for all your questions and uh, besides that they are all our sky members also they are all uh, the devotees of samuji uh, they do a lot of research personally over the subject also so in such a way we get that uh, anand kumar dan singh from uk jay prakash from uk dr sanmuk vel from osu dr sundara devi from Kaimutur and Dr. Abhidhanath is also from Kaimutur R&D director here. So, so much, so many doctors are here and they are ready to give, uh, ready to clear all kinds of doubts coming to the student sites. And I think with the help of these doctors and later on we can plan our research program also and those students will join newly and you can get more help from these doctors they are ready to help us so uh, when you are attending this webinar you can become more familiar with them and you can get more help from these experts also uh, so with that i welcome the experts particularly the dr rabindranath today he will be giving the lecture and all other doctors that samag value dr sundra devi dr jay prakash dr anand kumar dan sagaran all these doctors and our own guides i welcome all of you and uh, i make this opportunity to request all of you uh, all of our scholars uh, till the the russia ukraine war comes to an end please you make the blessings to end the war as quick as possible samaji vandu porilla nalludagam endu solli and paadalla oru oru hatch endu solli irukkan adhavadhu indha maari por nadakkumbodhu paadipugal varumbodhu அதை நம்ம வேடிக்கை பார்த்துட்டு இருக்கக்கூடாது வி சுட் டூ சம்திங் என்ற வகையில் பாடல்கள் சொல்லி இருக்காங்க நடந்து செல்லும் பிணங்கள் அல்ல நாம் நமது கடமை தேர்ந்து செய்யாது இருக்கேன்னு சொல்கிறார்கள் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் பை ஹியரிங் த நியூஸ் அண்ட் சீயிங் தி நியூஸ் வெரி மச் ஃபீல் ஃப்ரஸ்ட்ரேட்டட் அண்ட் சோ மெனி டெத்ஸ் ஆர் கோயிங் ஆன் தேர் and till the problem there is no end for the problem so let us all bless wholeheartedly for uh, to end the war i think now i request all of you please uh, close your eyes keep yourself in the duriyam duriyam 
So now you think of the entire scenario going on there in the Russian Ukraine area and wholeheartedly bless for ending of the war and the Russia Ukraine, they were brothers some time back. Now they are becoming enemies. Again, they continue as brothers. In all the neighboring areas, they should maintain that uh, brothership, the high, having all kinds of enmities. So in such a way, all of you, please bless wholeheartedly to end the war. So minimum 10 times we can bless, sir. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Manasukola or Patu Marasulane, Russia, Ukraine, or Verevile Mudi Ventum, our Sakhar Ripola Vada Ventum. Manasukula or Patu Marisoli, Waltuning, Russia, Ukraine, or Verevile Mudi Ventum, our Sakhar Rahapari Vada Ventum. They are your Patu Marisoli, Lara Walt, Manadara Walt. Thank you. Russia, Ukraine, poor, very well, put you into our Anibro, or Sakor Ripole, Utumiake, and Bodhi in the Vardavendo, poor in all, in the Manidruk, in the Tundo Marak Padadi, in the Vail, we read a port Padadi, Purla, the Red Port Padadi, Magri Sola Pudi, and the Urula Hachi, very well, Amayavendo, Walsha Valamudan, Walsha Valamudan, Walsha Valamudan, Walsha Valamudan, I know Ralto, Kurkumuding Laya, Sri Lanka, one cage, raised three hundred rupees. One kg sugar three hundred ranga, hung a mint on the element to arrive with the hunting. Adi Martangi, Tarpur, the Sri Langa airport, and the Purla and Rikidium, at the Verevele, Terevendo, and the Ella Makudum, or Sogamana, Walki, Walavendo, Niki, or Hongala, or Adias, or Lubuda, Angamudi, and the Lavaku, Purla the Nele, Adi Kipitri, and the Nele Maravendo, and the Sri Langa would put your Ella, Namudi, Inusala Palamudi. Passamigus of the Regal Zanaga. Edo or Nelly Nikumbut Kala Girkanga, Akabe, Angrik Pudi and the Purla Nerikri, Arasil Sulnikid, Kavi Alam, Mari, Makaluk, Sadagama Ripudi of Hele, Ami Vendum, Adini, Manadar and Nikthu, Waltangil, Sri Langa Rudi, Purla Nerikri, Arasil Sulnikala, Mari, Makal, or Sukaman and Allah Walkan of Vik Vendum. Walsh Valamata, Walsh Valamata. So, in the level of in the wherever created she wants. Thank you very much. So, again, I welcome all of you. We please take part and take this interaction more successful. Thanks a lot, Aya, for your inspiring welcome address and blessings note. This is the time to listen our resource person talk. So, once again, I invite Mrs. Hema Malini to give brief intro to our today's resource person, Dr. M. A. Rabindranath Aya. Screen share, Panikla Mama. Varha Aya Kam. Sure, Aya. Panikla Mama. It's a brief intro on the topic speaker of the day, Dr. M. A. Rabindranath, B.S.C. M.Ed. Aya has done his uh, degree, B.Sc. Chemistry in 1962 from PhD College of Arts and Science, Coimbatore. Kuncha volume sound up, tell me. Aya has done his. Ah, please continue, continue. Okay, India. Yeah. Aya has done his uh, B.Sc. Chemistry in 1962 from PhD College of Arts and Science, Coimbatore. I have done his uh, MBBS and uh, General Medicine in uh, 1967 and 1972 respectively from Stanley Medical College, Chennai. I have started his practice uh, since 1967 and he is uh, servicing for the past 57 years. I has done his uh, training in USA in the field of uh, intensive care and respiratory care in White Memorial Medical Center at Los Angeles in 1985 for a period of six months. He has undertaken a world trip to Europe, UK, USA, Japan, Hong Kong, 
Singapore and back to India in the year 1985. Is a consultant physician in Vasavi Hospital in uh, Coimbatore, where he maintains a simple, inexpensive record system for outpatients for more than 35 years since 1979. Aya has uh, served as a uh, assistant professor of medicine in uh, Coimbatore Medical College, Coimbatore, Secretary Association of Physicians of uh, India in Coimbatore branch uh, in 1978. He served as secretary Indian Medical Association, Coimbatore branch in 1982. Served as a professor in World Community Service Center till year. Is a director, research uh, and uh, development vision WCSC. till date and he is serving a lot held a post as a founder vice president of kovai manavala kalai mandram trust and he is the vice president of kovai mandalam of wcsc since its inception aya has done a comprehensive total family care and adopted uh, villages in 1987 to 2002 for a 15 years uh, period about five villages and he done a tremendous job and he has conducted 35 monthly residential health camps at, at, at temple of consciousness at aria provided medical screening and care for 125 villages uh, under vsp between 2013 and 2018 i has been awarded uh, for his uh, meritorious work Uh, by uh, lions club of uh, international uh, lions club rotary and indo german cultural society for his lifetime achievement in service i as a founder managing trustee of vasavi health uh, service center uh, a charitable medical trust since 1990 is a life member in association of physics physicians of india life member of indian vegetarian congress life member of madras institute of magneto biology and is a member of indian medical association and indian diabetics association as well as nursing homes board member so i have established thai research center branches at chennai kalpakkam bangalore new delhi hyderabad coimbatore aria tirupur and coaching i have done uh, seminars on dark matter at birla planetarium chennai and uh, one more seminar uh, on uh, magnetism at kalpakkam he has done a seminar of la- on life force at amit university new delhi he has done uh, seminar on genetic center at niham bangalore and uh, kai kalpa at <coughs> coimbatore he has done a seminar on wom- women em- empowerment at kochi he has uh, done his uh, research seminar at toc rir in 2017 i am going to complete his uh, 80th birthday next month by 15th may we all uh, wholeheartedly wish him an advanced birthday varika valamudanangya the floor is for you <laughs> thank you hema hema malima for your wonderful intro to our director and our resource person varha valamudan thanks for the opportunity thank you thank you ayya now the stage is yours thank you very much ma thank the slide you. is visible yes ayya you can show the slide no sir ayya okay okay right uh, please thank show you. the slide i'll go straight into the subject next previous previous one this slide shows மறைப்பொருள்களை வெளிச்சமா மறைப்பொருள் மாயங்களை வெளிச்சமாக்கும் வேதாத்ரியம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு சோ ரியலி மகரிஷி ஹஸ் த்ரோன் லைட் ஆன் வேரியஸ் 
सूक्ष्म फैक्ट्रीज इन अवर लाइफ ही सेज इन लाइर मन गांधम करमयम जीव वित् All are abstract phenomena of which we don't have much of uh, material reference material in the literature, but he has brought his postulates or his hypothesis are new, and uh, it is the research faculty's duty to bring them over to the mainstream of the. scientific area nod in kai kalpa i am just highlighting the importance of it the wind or the life force and click the genetic center next the center of the genetic center next the absolute space he defines it no one has done it a definition for absolute space and its characteristics irai tuhal you know and uh, how it is uh, there what is the size of the irai tuhal you know how uh, minute it is even the nano scales may not uh, explain the size of the life force and uh, here you will see a life force being shown projected it consists of dust particles and the dust particles are associating themselves by the chain differences in the velocity between the two dust particles the faster one circles the slower one so two units together two dust particles unite together and similarly two more dust particles united they may spin around this one because of the velocity speed differences like that you have a association of millions of dust particles in one life force particle and in that distribution of the life force particles uh, dust particles within the life force is uh, very important this you can see the closer to the center the dust particles are very much closer together and they are thinly distributed in the outer area you see that center one where the dust particles are almost uniting to each other they just are shaking hands with the next uh, dust particle they are so close together and little bit away you can see interparticular space and still near the outer field next you can see them sparsely distributed all over and this arrangement is natural based on their differences in the velocity and the wavelength this is very important significant for the functioning of the body in these uh, life force particles are circling click they will spin here you see the life force particles they will spin now big one make it full yeah no click Mm -hmm. you can see 
how these life force particles are moving within the body swami ji has given a hypothesis and based on that i just has developed this model see i have given only few uh, life force particles if you see all these life force particles they travel in the body and outside the body and come back to the genetic center and in this if you observe the green one at the center and the red one at the periphery they are giving different picture why is this difference what is it due to when they come to the genetic center they are all round but when they travel far away from the genetic center they have a big tail and that tail when they as they come closer they are contracting and almost the life force particle becomes round at the genetic center what does it convey to you can anyone answer what is the tail due to uh shanti amma can anyone give the answer people can raise their hand and you will be given an opportunity to express your views okay i will elaborate on it as shown in the previous pictures the life force particle is collection of dust particles and they, there is no capsule for the life force particle it is free in the space whether it is within the body or outside the body and when they reach the genetic central area their velocity is almost mm, almost zero corresponding to the delta wave that is 4321 and uh, anything less than that they become space the particle disappears so such is the arrangement Be- this happens because of the spinning movement in a linear motion you don't have any change in the velocity or the uh, strength of the moving wave but when it spins with a center around then the energy is not running away it is getting concentrated in the same area so because of this action intensification at the center takes place heavier things polarize to the central areas and the lighter ones to the periphery and the number of uh, dust particles as the life force particle emerges from the genetic center with velocity high because of the inertia progressively it loses the dust particles in its system to the space there is an exodus there is an exit of dust particles as they leave the genetic center and when they have lost a considerable portion of dust particles their speed comes down and they makes a loop and follows an elliptical orbiter to come back to the genetic center and as they come back to the picture as they come back to the genetic center you can see the tail getting contracted absorbed back into this thing the real activity is the life force particle has given out sent out uh, millions of dust particles and there is capacity space accommodation for the the particles to get in and as they come closer 
more dust particles get back into the system of life force particles and when they reach the genetic center area they are fully charged this magrishi says uyiranukkal karumayathilirundu undu vegathodu pudhu vegathodu udvegathodu pudhu shaktiyodu velippattu adu payanithu மீண்டும் கருமயத்தை அடைந்து அங்கே அந்த ஜீவித்து குழம்பிலே மூழ்கி எழுந்து ஒத்துணர்வு பெற்று புது சொல்லுது புது ஜென்ரேஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் சைக்கிள் இட் ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் மூவிங் சோ வென் இட் இஸ் ரன்னிங் லைக் தேட் யூ சி அ டர்ன் ஓவர் ஆஃப் டஸ்ட் பார்ட்டிகிள்ஸ் டேக்கிங் பிளேஸ் த as they start leaving the genetic center the content of the life force dust particles in a life force particle is so much full but they are thrown out and when they come back they recruit they include new life force dust particles this new divine dust particles they start their journey as they emerge from the life force uh, genetic center so it is a single orbit means a generation of uh, life force particle the life force particle is constantly renewed reenergized and what happens to the dust particles which are thrown out obviously they dissolve in the space to generate magnetism so the structure of the life force particle understanding it is very important and this explains how there is constant generation of magnetism from the life force particle within the body and uh, this we can see the evidence of a uh, biomagnetism running in our body you can see in the next slide see the need kundusigala magnetic poritti vecha apdiye or kayiru pole irpada ninga paathirpinga you have you must have played uh, if you are a science student and the magnetism biomagnetism in the body travels from the genetic center across the body leaves the body and come back to the body and the picture doesn't show the lines of magnetic force operating between the body and the demonstrated one it is full if oh, you combine all the magnetic uh, forces waves encircling moving within the body it will be globular it will be a uh, shape of the earth or any planet you can imagine the magnetic force around us and to represent the magnetism biomagnetism above 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 see this this slide represents the flow of biomagnetism in the body the biomagnetism has different frequencies as you know as you know from 0 to 40 and the faster beta waves are shown in red the alpha waves are having the yellow color and the theta the blue and delta the purple color so here you can see the distribution of the waves even an an individual who is who is not practicing any yoga any development he also has all the four type of waves 0 to 40 and here the only difference is for a yogi the beta and alpha proportions will be shrunken this i will show in another slide in the uh, subsequently but you just to get the message 
and these four type of waves just like the life force particles there they are interchangeable the beta can shrink the delta can expand and if you get the divine connection you can even uh, get the uh, expansion of the central absolute space which means divinity comes in into the individual into a yogi when he has considerable portion of his body occupied by the genetic center with expansion of the genetic center with absolute space then he becomes divine and manidan enbavan deva mahala so all these things are possible with the magarishi's uh, vedadriyam i think uh, this is uh, something which uh, we have not heard of in the spiritual field next next we can see the magnetism and the spinning system working in our own uh, uh lives which are living with us along with us now this slide shows the biomagnetism the magnet and the needles uh, pin pins attached to it the second line if pointer if you swing the magnet rotate the magnet all the uh, the pins will move as though it is a single string but if you remove the magnet the all the needles they they fall they become individual clumps so such is the arrangement of the cells in the body they are all united only by the magnetic force and not by anything else and when the magnetism becomes weak the addition of the cells one to other they become weak and they fall off which is resulting in pain disease and uh, death next this is a simple arrangement of the uh, food which you consume every day and you would have appreciated yeah. you know what the seeds in the center the stem and the flowering bud connected in the center and the seeds in the center can you manage with the disturbance okay so this is the apple which shows the polarity and arrangement orbital fashion of the running of the magnetism within the apple and next this is evera periyas favorite vengayam that also shows the same structure next this is a cut section where you can see the orbital arrangement of the uh, the leaves of a uh, onion and the central canal there connecting the head and foot right next this is from the orange or lemon next this is from the guava then this is uh <coughs> next this is a tomato and this is the human the arrangement of the viscera is similar to the arrangement within a tomato so i hope you are all appreciating this and uh, in the life force circulation veeranukal thannai thane solandru kondum karumayathilirundu vilimbirkumaga solandru kondum irukirathu a total composite uh, structure of the these life forces 
life force particles is the life is the sukshma sharira sukuma udal abingirathu theriyum if you see in all our uh, textbooks vision textbooks this representation is uh, not given there and the people who are handling them can get convinced about the life force circulation and the biomagnetic circulation in the body and if they are convinced that proper correction can be made in the textbook even next the 2d representation of the life force is on the left on the right you see the atom and the uh, electron uh, circling and circling it so that is the way the life force and magnetism is and uh, if you see the spine the chakras the endocrine glands they all occupy the lines of uh, the life force particle movement and the st- structure of the nodes and their is crossing across the spine produces the chakras the chakras are the combination of the uh, different type of nadis ida and pingala which uh, uh, dr swatantra devi has explained in very many presentations and next this is eye of a cyclone the cyclone is a uh, uh, example where the the various uh, dimensions of the uh, spinning air waves they spin around a central point and create a picture of the cyclone this is eye of the cyclone where it starts in the bottom at the ground level and rises up and above this structure of the cyclone is similar to the body's structure next next you can see the body picture and the body's uh, lines of uh, the life force particles movement superimposed one on the other this is uh, corresponds to the cyclonic structure and body structure what i mean to say is both are spinning systems in this spinning systems you have all these arrangements you have the elliptical uh, movement of the life force particles and the organization of the body body tissues the sabda tadus are according to this system only next now this is the biomagnetic field amateurly childishly represented And, uh, this shows all the four waves on the left you see a common person with a uh, less than in single digits the less than 10% uh, the delta and theta occupy so little space and when he becomes a accomplished yogi then there is contraction shrinkage of the beta and alpha and expansion of the theta and delta and depending upon his experience it will be showing the same picture you can see in a axial view on the uh, view from above next click so this shows in rotation also the central one is the delta wave click 
the blue one the theta wave next this is the alpha and this is the beta now you can see you don't have any clarity in beta whereas in delta in delta you see the movement in full which was shown represented in the uh, life force uh, model also so when you reach the inner frequencies the slower frequencies the theta and delta you have more clarity and you have more penetrative deeper vision it becomes more defined more divine and uh, you can see the picture on the right side has a smaller dot the central uh, point of the of the magnetic body and when it gets rearranged on the right side in a yogi you can see the black expanding and this will expand proportionally to his achievement to his sadhana and at times i can imagine that the entire body being filled by the dark space and these uh, faster uh, moving waves getting outside the body such a condition will equate to samadhi the jiva samadhi and jivan mukta and videga mukta everything will be explained in terms of this next so you see in short the genetic center has a representation by the physical body physical body pointer here something which represents the return for the physical body is not there expand it fully okay in the physical body it is occupied by the sabda tadus and uh, the sabda tadus are arranged they are also rotating spinning in the body and they are arranged in the way they are seen in the physical body kela 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 any 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 kela we'll go to that still up 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 new man any mala mala on getting the square it is a slide yes in this slide you see the sabda tadus the sabda tadus are represented in an inverted triangle the shukra or jeevit kolambu is in the center and the according to their density the marrow bone fat muscle blood and the juice are arranged in that order which i have compared with the cut section of the thigh where it is all representing the arrangement of the tadus next so in that way the physical body is represent stoola sariram uh, is represented with the points with the portion of the sub tadus in the apex that is uh, the shukra tadu that is occupying the center of the genetic center and at the center of the genetic center you have nothing but the absolute space now if you go into the magnetic body you can see that delta waves occupying that the delta waves coming 4 3 2 1 and 0 becomes the central empty space absolute space the 
in the life force also you can see the particles coming closer and closer slower and slower becoming heavier and heavier and finally disappearing into the black hole that is the center of the uh, genetic center next so here in this picture you can see the three uh, circles there the outer one arrow is the slowest moving delta region and the central one is zero one absolute space the absolute space and the moving waves the slow waves merge to become an interface so this structure of the center of the genetic center i feel it is important because as an emergent wave biomagnetic wave it leaves the it leaves the genetic center and comes back when it reaches the you imagine the rangoli picture the four colored spinning system which i showed there you get the when the wave reaches the surface of the body you get all the sense organs and the sense organs take a xerox copy of the their experience to which they are exposed in the eye you see the image of the picture you see magrishi's podal pasu and ray park room is a good example of how this uh, image is deposited on the outer surface of the body in the peripheries of the body and as it comes down the wave shrinks because of as it has to travel through the dense portions of the biomagnetic field there is a slowing down of the uh, wave biomagnetic waves and also shrinkage of the this thing so when it reaches the genetic center it is almost zero it becomes a dot when such a contraction of the biomagnetic wave takes place what will happen to the xerox copy it took at the sensory organ level they will also be compressed and they will also be made to be a dot that is the magnetic knot which we call imprint when it becomes so small the image that xerox copy and the original biomagnetic wave they become different and this is the place the interface is the place where all your experiences are deposited and when you get the collection of these things these characters are also these experiences are only making the whole mind and in this area of the interface they are they are all uh, floating in the genetic center as independent magnetic characters which we call magrishi calls imprint padivugal abdin solli the padivugal nudaiya thoguppu ella in the interface la irukku and they are all independently floating but this floating is according to their charges so this allows our imprints to shuffle to change from age old imprints which are 100 years old 80 years old they keep changing according to the external universal magnetism what is beyond the body is universal magnetism what is within the body is biomagnetism and both are magnetism so they are in equilibrium one forces the other shapes and changes the other and uh, the universal magnetism creates changes accordingly in the biomagnetic field and in the genetic center more so in the imprints deposited in the 
uh, interface zone. And this is their arrangement in a specific pattern will be a DNA and contributing to the structure of chromosomes. So this area is corresponding to the chromosomes formation and uh, the continuation of the imprints for generations together. So next, the absolute space, next. Previous one. The dust particles appearing, they appear as a small ones. Now they become more coarse, different types, next. And it associates to spin full screen. Yeah. This one also. So the life force spins, life force particle. Now in the bottom I have seen, I have shown you three speeds. The first one is the normal speed where the, the dense area in the central zone is uh, there with the less speed and the peripheral areas, they spin faster. I don't know whether you can appreciate it. But see, the second circle shows the decrease the speed. When the speed decreases, the central zone expands. The thicker zone expands, they become rarefied and occupy a larger space. And the third one with a higher velocity. So when the velocity increases, spin increases, the denser zone, you compare it to the circles one and two, it becomes a smaller, more dense. So like that. And the structure, why we are spending time in the structure of uh, the dust particles and their circulation and the uh, life force particles and their circulation, why we are spending time in the three bodies is, this is the relationship between these three bodies is our life. Next, 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 previous one. That one. You see two magnets connected by lines of magnetic force. And if it is a, a strong magnet, you have a coherent uh, lines uh, making it a, a planetary arrangement is because of this. And if the light poles south-south meet, the repulsion takes place. If this polarity is there, north-south polarity is there, the magnets stick together. You replace cells in the body to the magnets. So the magnet also exhibits polarity because of the spinning moment within the cell by the cytoplasm at the contents of the organelles of the cell floating in it. So they are uniting together by the attractive, attractive force between the two cells that depends upon the magnetism. And the life force particles they penetrate the cells and go. Swamiji says it is equivalent to a, a, a chain formation as you thread multiple pearls put together and it becomes a muttu malai. So like that, the cells in the body are stringed together with the life force. And when the life force becomes weak, this arrangement goes off. So biomagnetism in the body is very much important and its voltage and polarity are very important. When it is good, you have good immunity, you have the good health. 
you can have super health supra health also and when it is weakened it is allowing pain disease chronic disease coma and death to take over next this explains why magrishi is telling ganda uh, kaatrotam ratha otam veppa otam ganda otam uirotam as operating forces in the body next 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 go now you can recapitulate also next 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 now you show the beaker there now i am showing what happens the spin within the body here you see clear water in a jar and here you have a spinning magnetized rod glass rod within the system and as the spin increases what happens you see the surface water level you get a depression there which is becoming deeper and deeper this is your nod is working in the body making a central canal and the ida and pingala and the other nadis the shushumna nadi all put together this is a tornado simulator i wish that you register this uh, experiment in your memory and refer to it see what happens when the uh, spin is cut off the the current is cut off the speed the rod which is responsible for the spin has disappeared and leaves the water still and this is what happens when we doctors dissect the body we don't see any the uh, this thing and as nod is there the nod is disappear when there is a stoppage of the spin next 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 and actually this center of the genetic center genetic center is in the muladharam but the uh, spin m- makes it in such a way that there is differentiation of the imprints and the speed and the various chakras evolve according to the differences in the spin of the three the first one is muladhar and still finer imprints they become the swadhisthana and then the one concerned with the food and the gut the manipura now the anahada and the vishuddhi and the sahasradhar so all the seven chakras are connected to each other and various polarization points only behave like the chakras this is and the inference inferred by this uh non yogic soul and see whether it is applicable or not next next previous one here you can see the earth's magnetic field represented in the right side the globe the this is the picture of the earth's magnetic field and there is a depression on the north pole another invagination in the south pole both unite together and 
I have attached that picture of a person who also represents, exhibits the same. The picture on the left side shows the changes in the Earth's magnetic field allowing the mountains to raise above the ground level which I have taken for help to show that all the chakras are one and the same point united together but at different levels of polarization it becomes the seven chakras. Next. This is our galaxy with the radiations from the center which Magarshi says the magnetic outflow Raghu Ketu. Next. This is more about the uh, structure of the pelvis the where the uterus bladder and anal canal the anus are attached to and the muscle group represents the liver terrani and the ashwini mudra you perform because of the structure of the muscle fibers they create a spinning movement also so repeated ashwini mudras produce a centrifugation effect for the contents of the pelvic floor and which Magarshi uh, says it fractionally separates. You take blood in a test tube and centrifuge it. What happens? The cells deposit down. Next, you get a clear column of serum and then above you get a turbid portion which is the lipids. So, similar to that, when you do Ashwini Mudra, they prepare the separate the ojas from the pelvic contents which are panchabhutas which are panchabhutas and sabdatadus and out of which the energy alone the ojas energy alone comes above to the top layer and that is what is absorbed by the ojas breath the process of the ojas breath is again significant we create a spin with ashwini mudra at the muladhar or at the bottom level and then observe mulabandha which is a lower lock which prevents anything a downward movement and you create a ojas move breath with the tongue position in Keshari Mudra and you expand the chest by drawing in air through the nose which flows freely and uh, as it fills up the chest there is a negative pressure which sucks the ojas energy from the bottom to the top here the Kesari Mudra and the position of the air passage there in the Ojas breath, they facilitate movement of the energy to the brain by sheer physical loss. They go up. Since the Ojas energy is a formless energy, it moves freely by the pressure differences, the conduction and the uh, transmission of the uh, concentration from thicker portion to the lighter portion. And this facilitates the movement of the uh, ojas energy to the skull, to the brain. And when you breathe out, you bring the tongue to
to the neutral position, clench the teeth and forcibly breathe through the mouth. This allows the air to come out, but with resistance. And this resistance creates a, creates a positive pressure in the skull, in the cranium, and that pushes the energy down. And this ascent and descent, when followed by a corresponding mental as anticipation, the, the mental energy, the mind energy, does the job of taking the voges to the brain and distributing to the all over the body. So this is in short the Kayakalpa points which I wanted to tell you. Now we have seen where the actual Muladhar is and where the genetic center is and how you have to perform the Ashwini Mudra. Should it be focused at the anus or at the urethra or at the vagina, uh, cervical point. So depending upon these positions, the Ashwini Mudra which you perform have different actions and that is also to be discussed. Now I think I will spare time for you people to question and get your doubts cleared. When you have no doubts, I have some other agenda to follow. Now uh, Shantima, we will uh, invite Paul. the audience to see. Paul. 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 Dear participants, if you have any clarifications, please ask. Please raise your hand and uh, unmute yourself. Please, please come forward. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? When you have shown uh, many slides, uh, uh, on lines of uh, life force particles movement oh. Oh. in the PUC as well as uh, the higher secondary, the tan A, tan B, tangent galvanometer, oh. galvanometer. Let's say is it the same concept, sir? Mm. Uh, because first you have shown the human body, sir. Then apple, onion, orange, gua, carrot, yeah, yes, tomato. Comparing each and everything, the lines go like that only. Right, right. Is, uh, could you kindly correlate both the tan A tan B the companion galvanometer and the galvanometer picture? I think uh, I came out of the uh, school and the PU and oh, okay. that level, which yes, I have uh, refreshed again. If you is, can uh, send me the uh, notes for the galvanometer and its yes, behavior, sir. I can correlate. Oh, but okay, essentially the same. The same thing is happening in the earth. The same thing is happening in the universe, in galaxies, in Milky Ways, like that. It is the same. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, right. sir. Right, right. right. Our students. Dear participants, it is only do, for the students. Do you have any clarifications? Please ask. That means they are perfect. They understood. Yes, I am. What is your name? Sundar Madhi sir, you are a kid. Yes, I am. I am a physics teacher. The mapping of magnetic field in Chalwanga, eh? Ah. North Pole and South Pole on the magnetic lines, Epidi or the Dean Parker Kaha, ah. in a unit pole of Chitri, other Pulia ah. Chitonako, North Pole and the Aram Chabi, the South Warwick Barambodha, and the lines on the Matbar, the Sar Port of the Mari, and the lines on the uh, South to South Warmbodha, South to North Warmbodha. Uh, 
அதை வச்சுக்கிட்டு வந்தோம்னாக்கா நம்ம அந்த மூமெண்ட்ஸ் அது மாதிரி தெரியாது ஸோ தட் சோஸ் தி மேக்னட்டிக் லைன்ஸ் கமிங் ஃப்ரம் தி நார்த் போல் ஆர் சவுத் போல் ஆர் த மேக்னட்டிக் லைன்ஸ் இஃப் த நார்த் அண்ட் சவுத் போல் ஆர் நியர் பை ஹவு த மேக்னட்டிக் லைன்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் இஃப் த நார்த் அண்ட் நார்த் லைன்ஸ் ஆர் நியர் பை த ஹவு த மேக்னட்டிக் லைன்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ஸோ அது வந்து மேக்னட்டிக் ஃபீல்ட் த மேக்னட்டிக் லைன்ஸ் ஸ்டார்டிங் பாயிண்ட் எண்டு பாயிண்ட் அதுக்கு வந்து அது சரியா வரும் நிறைய <laughs> போ <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. If any of them, still, this one. Ah, 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 it is that. Right. Ah, 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 right. You are trying to give out the uh, magnetic field uh, with all your intuitional power. Allah, my way out appreciate it. Over but here, you are going to be in the <coughs> circulations mean under the uh do you mean the life force circulations or the magnetic field circulation the life force particles circulation ah uh, life force particle circulation solum uh, sir life force particle is, is there any possibility for the life force particle to go out of the body and come back the size of the life force particle is micro 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 nano 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 small and there is no container which can hold the life force particles because any vessel you make it is having pores bigger than that of the life force particles so they cannot be retained by the any vessel any container in the this thing but so they leave the body the uh, the margins of the body doesn't uh, prevent the life force particles to go out of the body and come back that is why the shape of the body will be uh, without the definitions of the uh, eye nose mouth ears head body it will be a cloud like the 3d picture of the cloud it is only a vague uh, translucent or a uh, structure representing the life force and similarly the magnetic body or the causal body also the magnetic force put together it will look like a amorphous cloud that's all shapeless cloud the life Within force particle portu varaiku sa namm vandu this is something uh, similar to electrons in a conductor uh, the electrons munadi stage da namm life force nu solra win nu solra sir electrons vandu uh, you are a physics person and yes, you know the uh, this thing circulation better than me but all these things i have not studied anywhere it is out of okay sir so you I, i appreciate your effort in bringing all these things uh, but generally no uh, if you, you are uh, you magnetic are field in sonna it's all right sir suppose if we say these are the lines of magnetic field in sonna it's all right but when you say the circulation of life force particles sonna ko which is generally when we take that electrons they flow only inside the conductor கண்டக்டர் தான் வரும் கண்டக்டர் தாண்டி வரும்போது இட் கம்ஸ் எஸ் எலக்ட்ரோ மேக்னெட்டிக் ரேடியேஷன்ஸ் அவ்வளவுதான் திஸ் இஸ் சிமிலர் டு த திஸ் இஸ் சிமிலர் டு த மாலிகியூல் ஆஃப் த தட் இஸ் ஆட்டம் ஆஃப் த எலிமெண்ட் தீஸ் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் சோ லைஃப் ஃபோர்ஸ் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் வந்து யூசிங் தி வைட்டல் ஃப்ளூயிட் ஆஸ் இட்ஸ் கண்டெய்னர் தி வைட்டல் ஃப்ளூயிட்ஸ் देयर இன் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி செல் ஆஃப் த பாடி So yes. inside the body, the life force particle can easily circulate because the container, the 
vital fluid is there in each and every cell so using that it can circulate inside the body easily in different mm-hmm. directions or whatever be the mm-hmm. direction you mentioned the structure you gave is all right but the life force particle coming out of the body means this is something like will, the electrons coming stop. out of the conductor i will give an example which magarishi often quotes in his uh, uh, courses when you get angry what happens the sukshma expands expands it comes out of the body surface it becomes more when he is in rage when he is in uh, the peak point of his anger the expansion of the life force becomes uh, two or three times at that time the life force particles are far away from the genetic center and the attractive force of the genetic center is weaker then when disturbances outside the body takes place they take off the life force particles and when you become normal your anger disappears the contraction of the life uh, uh, actual body brings it back into the body at that time we feel weak because of the loss of life force particles that has taken place this is i think you remember the explanation given by magarishi magarishi avrude avar kullunurva enna kedikudho adu kudukra illa adhe da we appreciate adena nam science la kondu varumbodhu science la varumbodhu enna nakam kovathukku indha science apply panni paarenga adha adha enna na neenga anything coming out of the body adha vandu neenga காசல் பாடிங்க மற்ற இன்னைக்கு வந்து இந்த மேக்னெட்டிக் ஃபீல்ட பத்தி நிறைய இதுல கூட சொல்றாங்க சார் அதாவது ஆஹ் நமக்கு வந்து பிராணி ஹீலிங்ல சொல்றாங்க மற்ற நிறைய டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் இதுல கூட சொல்றாங்க நமக்கு அங்க எங்கேயாவது ரெஃபரன்ஸ் இந்த மாதிரி ஆஸ்ட்ரல் பாடி ப்ரொஜெக்ஷன் வந்து கம்மிங் அவுட் ஆஃப் இது வர்றது வரைக்கும் இருக்கு அப்படின்ற மாதிரி நமக்கு ஏதாவது பாடியை தாண்டி வர்றது திருப்பி பாடிக்குள்ள போகுது அந்த மாதிரி ஏதாவது நமக்கு ரெஃபரன்ஸ் கிடைச்சிங்கன்னா ஐ திங்க் மோட்ஸ் நீங்க இதுலயே நெக்ஸ்ட் அந்த பக்கம் தட் சைட் இந்த மனவளக்கலை பார்ட் ஒன்லயே சின்னம் தவிர்த்தல்ல அது போட்டிருப்பார் உயிரணுக்கள் நஷ்டம் அது வந்து ஒரு எனர்ஜி வந்து நம்ம வந்து போக வரும்போது அவர் உயிரணுக்கள் அப்படின்னு சொல்லும் போது எனர்ஜி மேக்னட்டிசம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி அண்ட் ஆப்டர் ஆல் திஸ் இறைத்துகள் அண்ட் மேக்னட்டிசம் அப்படிங்கிறத மகிழ்ச்சி நிறைய இடத்துல இன்டர்சேஞ்ச் பண்றாரு அண்ட் ஆஸ் அ சயின்டிஸ்ட் பிசிஷியன் வென் யூ கன்ஃபைன் டு டஸ்ட் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ்னா டஸ்ட் பார்ட்டிகல் மேக்னட்டிசம்னா மேக்னட்டிசம் லைஃப் ஹோஸ் பார்ட்டிகல்னா லைஃப் ஹோஸ் பார்ட்டிகல் அந்த மாதிரி வரும்போது திஸ் இஸ் அ பாயிண்ட் ஐ திங்க் விச் வி கேன் டிஸ்கஸ் செப்பரேட்லி அப்படின்னு நினைக்கிறேன் any other question alka vallamudan ayya what vallamudan i am subhashini ayya yes uh, in this previous slide you have cho- uh, shown no mm. that uh, four colors a circle yeah yeah can you okay. show it again ayya oh yes the alpha beta Uh, yes ayya and uh, bef- uh, uh, this slide uh, 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 here in this picture ayya you have given a, a pictorial uh, description in uh, three four colors yes uh, is it have any a special reason for this ayya for choosing that color because they are the characteristics of the waves beta alpha theta delta 
they move from bidia the red to the violet sir red beta na ha red beta ah. yellow alpha yes Some the blue, blue theta ah uh, delta purple ah uh. ah uh. okay sir okay thank you right. thank you thank you and they it come last slide mm. here so the last slide with the uh, asani mudra mula bandar adu kuda konjam oh i say adu adu konjam the oh, yes. students konjam pona dara kuda konjam kelvi lakkata sari sari absolute please dear slide back ஸோ இதில் நம்ம காய்கல்பால் அந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் ஸ்லைட் போங்க இது வேண்டாம் லாஸ்ட் ஸ்லைட் பெல்விக் ஃப்ளோர் ரைட் திஸ் ஸ்லைட் சார் ரைட் வாட் இஸ் தஸ்டின் ஹியர் சிமிலர் ஸ்லைட்ஸ் வச்சு நம்ம டாக்டர் சண்முகவேல் சார் கூட அந்த அசனி முத்ரா மூலபந்தம் அதே மாதிரி அந்த சரஜில் முத்ரா பத்தி சரஜில் முத்ரா பத்தி அவங்க சார் சொல்லியிருந்தாங்க லாஸ்ட் டைம் நம்ம சுந்தரபுத்தி கூட டிஸ்கஷன் இல்லையா சுந்தரபுத்தி சண்முகவேல் சேஸ் வாட் சுதந்திரா தேவி சேஸ் ஹோல்ஸ் குட் சண்முக <laughs> தேவைப்படுறாங்க <laughs> 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 காயக்கல்பத்தில் சுவாமிஜி போடுற வட்டம் எது பருவுடல் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஜீவித்து குழம்பு உயிர் கருமையம் மனம் பஸ் பருவுடல் So, they take part in the Kai Kalpa. Next. Uh, next. Magnetism, the biomagnetism and the universal magnetism, causal body, imprints, mind, genetic center, and vector in the genetic center. This is the உங்களுக்கு எல்லாமே புரியும் வெக்டர் அப்படிங்கறது தான் கொஞ்சம் புரியாதுன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் அவதில் வெக்டர்ல 
शब्द तालुस वाइटल फ्लूड चक्रास एंड द फिजिकल बॉडी पार्ट्स ऑफ द इन्वॉल्व नेक्स्ट 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 see here today's topic was sexual vital fluid and let me come to the sexual vital fluid now otherwise i will be also be questioned like sundramurthy uh, see the nature of the svf how you, what is the nature of the svf it is with form or without form it is an abstract energy or this thing i say that it is an energy so it has no form magnetism has no form though it is a life force particles uh, aggregation is astral body though it is a physical it is also a beyond the perception so it is abstract now nature of the svf is uh, still it, it is in at par with the magnetism ojas energy magnetism and uh, the tejas all these things fall in a line so nature of a uh, svf is uh, we have to understand svf in the male and the female in the male it is easily understood in the female it is not understood and we have difficulty but uh, uh, anand have explained very well that it is the secretions of the glands in that region which is uh, coming out in the intercourse orgasm and that is equivalent to the uh, semen in the male and the ejaculate in kayakalpa in the male and female covers the same relationship of the egg and sperm with the kayakalpa in kayakalpa what is the role played by the sperms and the eggs if this is a point which is easily understood anyone has a question you can ask otherwise i'll move, move to the next point what is involved in kayakalpa is the vital fluid and not the egg or the sperm the uh, sperm or the egg and svf sexual vital fluid where is it produced it is coming out of the food which we have taken and the seventh tadus seven tadus evolve one from the other and the ultimate one is the shukra tadu shukra sronitam they say and when it is said shukra sronitam it is uh, the sperm and the ovum but uh, when it is shukra the sukilam it is common to both and it is in the energy form the the differentiation between the uh, sperm and the ovum on one side and vital fluid on the other side the difference between the two has to be understood clearly for understanding kayakalpa so one is a cell it is the aggregate of uh, the energy the uh, life force particles the panchabhutas sabdathadus all put together becomes a egg or a sperm whereas the vital fluid is the abstract force so both cannot be mistaken one for the other and why it is a not sperm or ovum means we deal with both of them we take the egg and we also in the uh, theaters we take the sperm and impregnate the ovum with the 
when it with the insertion artificially into the egg so this is more physical parts of the body parts of the cell and uh, that cannot move within the body without a passage whereas energy can move without a passage anywhere the distribution of svf all over the body and in a spinning system with intensification at the center collection more in the center and thin representation outside in the periphery within the body spinning system is also important to be understood then only the uh, discharge of the ejaculated material can continue their life passage work to reach the ovum so there it is important and uh, the distribution of svf in the body is a subject by itself it is not uniformly distributed it is uh, free it is a free flow and what decides the amount of svf in a particular place is the total quantity of S- svf in the body and the spin of the svf within the body system and that decides the cell to cell uh, integrity continuity which decides the flow of life force within the body and the which in turn decides the health status of the individual so that is the uh, distribution of a uh, svf we can also have a deficit of svf in the body yeah uh, surplus of svf in the body when you have surplus the body physiological functions and anatomical structures are intact they are well preserved promoting health when it is deficient the amount of svf is not adequate to maintain the sticking uh, adjacent cells in the body which uh, delays or uh, blocks the flow of life force within the body so that is an another important point where you have to uh, spend some more time on the flow of svf uh, and life force this thing and utilization of svf in the body how it is uh, disappearing from the body as it is utilized to produce the maintain the body cell reproduction and cell repair and uh, optimizing the uh, health status of a cell for all these cell function it is utilized for body metabolism it is the svf is uh, utilized in the whole body if there is a case of typhoid with uh, the intestines being the seat of pathology the problem the svf flows from the neighboring cells from the rest of the body to the intestines to do the repair to fight the infection and to be novel when it is not sufficient from the neighboring cells it flows and when that is also not sufficient the stock force the surplus vital fluid stored near <coughs> the genetic center they move to the this thing so that the stock in the genetic center comes down and the needy portion gets the svf so this process uh, is essential for maintenance of the life and surveillance and redistribution of svf within the body once the disease is combated repair is complete then the cells the affected region structure doesn't require more svf 
So as we have <coughs> continues to accumulate around the dentic center, this is reflected by the weakness, lethargy, and uh, inability to perform normal uh, work routine after a disease is explained by the insufficient stock than the optimal stock of SVF in the genetic center. And uh, this also explains why people lose their weight and become thinner, smaller, weight reduces, the bones become thin, osteoporotic. All these things are because of the insufficiency of the SVF. And uh, SVF in health and disease, I have explained. And now, the circulation, we talked about the distribution of SVF. SVF is there. SVF is essential for the survival of the cell. So, it is there in every structure. It is kadavul epdi ulagathila naranjirukkararo prabanjathila naranjirukkararo and the mari SVF is full in the entire body. Abdingarudu. SVF in the pancha goshas abdingarudu pakkum budu annamaya goshathila irukkaradha kaattilum and the pranamaya goshathila adhigama irukkum adhavida adhigama manumaya goshathila irukkum adhavida adhigama Vijnana Maya Goshatil Erukkoon, Adavida Adhigama Ananda Maya Goshatil Erukkoon and in the center of all the Goshas, it will be the maximum. What is the state of SVF before birth? Before birth, the SVF is present in egg and the sperm and they both combine together it is now model model capital for the growing embryo the at the time of menarche what happens why there is a delay even though the uh, ovaries are there testes are there and the uh, embryonic uh, primordial uh, ovum is present even in birth, even at birth, but they don't become functional. They become functional, they are delivered out of the ovary only at the time of menarche or maturation. Why this is the delay? Why there is the delay? This is a point for you to think over. If you have any doubts, you ask me. In sickness, what is the SVF uh, status? We have seen that in coma, what is it? It is minimal in the coma. It is just like a delta wave. It is a wave which is moving and uh, it remains a wave. A digit below, when it becomes minus one, it becomes a, a space. It is no more a wave. So like that, in coma, there will be minimal amount of uh, SVF. At the time of death, there is inability to keep all the three bodies together. The genetic center is weak. It is not able to hold all the three bodies together. And only when all the three function together, you have the uh, genetic center alive. When it is uh, not able to maintain itself. It breaks down and the life force and the mind body or the castle body, they become free, they are lighter and lay, they leave the body. And uh, the physical body after death has no more magnetism in circulation, no more life force in circulation. So, its energy source is limited to the cell. So as long as the cells are able to sustain themselves, they are remaining in the body. When it is not, they also get destroyed. So putrefaction and decomposition 
and uh, uh, degradation of the body naturally takes place and uh, we also dispose it off so that is the stage that is the state of svf in uh, at the time of death and uh, svf and genetic center what relation the svf and genetic center has the good amount of svf in genetic center the genetic center will be stronger it will be able to hold the more number of life force particles in the astral body in more number of magnetism magnetic waves in the causal body magnetic body uh, so this relationship of the svf to the genetic center to the astral body to the causal body to the physical body is important now the spf and the sperm or ovum what is the relationship uh, this is also a point for you to consider and if you concentrate on it you will get the answer how is the svf in a yogi it is different from what it is present in an ordinary person and when the yogi becomes a jeevan mukta what happens to the svf in still higher stage videha mukta what happens to the svf is there svf in the universal magnetism is there any uh, equivalent to svf which we have in the body in the stars and the planets in the galaxies do we have svf in the universe these are questions for you to stimulate your thinking what happens to svf in the intercourse what happens to svf in the emotional state desire anger all these what happens to the svf when you sublime sublimation takes place so these are some interesting questions connected with svf for want of time we will leave it to you or we will take it up when swami ji wants it when he when he brings it to the discussion now svf and kaya kalpa is the today's subject so i think uh, the participants can answer the question what is the relationship between the svf and kaya kalpa vaanga velamudanaiya yes uh, pandurangan vasumathi has raised his hand ayya welcome welcome i am waiting for them come okay pandurangan ayya you can unmute yourself வாழ்க வளமுடன் வாழ்க வளமுடன் வாழ்க வளமுடன் சார் ஐ ஹேவ் ஸ்மால் டவுட் ஐ டோன் நோ வெதர் இட் இஸ் क्वेश्चन ஆர் ஆன்சர் எஸ்விஎஃப் இஸ் கேன் பீ எ கமெண்ட் ஓகே டு மை அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் எஸ்விஎஃப் இஸ் தி எனர்ஜி விச் இஸ் ஃப்ளோயிங் இன்சைடு आवर பாடி இட் இஸ் नॉट गोइंग இட்ஸ் नॉट गोइंग அவுட் சைடு இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் எனர்ஜி ஃப்ளோயிங் ஆல் ஓவர் தி பாடி Mm. at the sperm sperm is a cell mm. the sperm is formed by the combination of svf 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 is the basic energy and the sperm is the combination of the, the sperm shall i interfere or you one minute uh, one minute i will complete yeah, the sperm yeah. sperm or ovum is as limited function and it is visible whereas svf is not visible yes uh, it it has limited function sperm or ovum has limited function of reproduction reproduction only whereas mm. svf has large function to maintain our body ultimate mm. function to maintain our body till our uh, from birth to death yeah. yes uh, the sperm whether the sperm is the combination of uh, svf 
அதாவது நம்ம சொல்லுவோம் கடவுள் வந்து நமக்குள்ள இருக்கிறார் பயருக்குள்ள தண்ணீர் தண்ணீருக்குள்ள பயிர்ன்ற மாதிரி மூல காரணம் எது மூலம் எது வைட்டல் ஃபுளூட் is a state it has evolved out of space okay and this acts in combination with the astral body causal body physical body at the genetic center all put together it works the genetic center in a cell in a individual okay. cell contains okay. svf SVF is present in all the things which you see just like your skin cell muscle cell bone mm. cell sperm cell ovum cell all these things are the outcome of the built up of a, a long way from SVF to the sperm level or egg level Okay. they have evolved of course the sperm the vital fluid is a raw material is an important material yes okay. sir okay yeah. okay thank you thank right. you you people can raise a question even after the session after the webinar you can post it to me or you post it you put it in the uh, box they will take it and send it to me now what is the relationship between the kayakalpa process and the svf so at this point i'll complete the monologue okay with your permission shall i conclude sir before concluding uh, no. can i give one more question yes uh, so last class uh, when sundara murthy presented his no. views about the vital fluid Hmm. and he has given it is a secretion from different uh, glands that is uh, it is coming from seminal vesicle it is coming from cowper gland clitoral gland even from testis is coming so different secretions combined together uh, it is called as a vital fluid these vital hmm. fluid that uh, carries lot of energy and also vitamins minerals and so on so this is the way so that interpretation came in the last class and also when we assume that uh, the transformation yela uh, avadu thaadum sollumbodhu onna 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 varudhu generally fluid means anything which flows is fluid it may be liquid it may be uh, gas it may be energy so all these things can be related to fluid so here uh, because uh, it is a transformation coming from the food உணவு ரசமா ரத்தமா சதையா கொழுப்பா எலும்பா மஜ்ஜியா சுக்கிலம் வருது இது வரைக்கும் வந்து எல்லாமே வந்து ஃபார்மோடு தான் இருக்கு எலும்புக்கு ஒரு ஃபார்ம் இருக்கு சசைக்கு சதைக்கு ஒரு ஃபார்ம் இருக்கு ரத்தத்துக்கு ஒரு ஃபார்ம் இருக்கு ஸோ இந்த செவன்த் தாதுன்னு சொல்லும் போது ஏழாவது தாது வரக்கூடிய அந்த சுக்கிலம்னு சொல்றது அதை தான் நம்ம வந்து வயிற்று புளின்னு சொல்றோம் ஜீவத்து குழம்புன்னு சொல்றோம் அப்ப அந்த ஜீவத்து குழம்பு ஒரு ஃபார்ம்ல தான் இருக்கணும் அப்படி நம்ம ஃபார்ம்லஸ்க்கு எப்படி போக முடியும் அப்சொல்யூட் ஸ்பேஸ்ன்னு சொல்றது எனர்ஜி கரெக்ட் எல்லாமே எல்லாமே ஆட்டம் மாலிக்குள் எல்லாமே அங்கிருந்து வந்தது அது ஆட்டம் மாலிக்குளும் ஸ்பேஸ்ல இருந்து வந்ததுதான் 
வந்த பின்னாடி ஆட்டத்த ஸ்பேஸ் சொல்ல முடியாது மாலிகுலர் ஸ்பேஸ் சொல்ல முடியாது இட் இஸ் கம் ஃப்ரம் தட் பட் ஸ்பேஸ் இஸ் டிஃபரெண்ட் ஆட்டம் இஸ் டிஃபரெண்ட் பட் ஆட்டம் குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் த ஸ்பேஸ் அதெல்லாம் இருக்கு அது மாதிரி இந்த பைட்டல் ஃபிளிகிட்ட ஃபார்ம்லெஸ் சொல்றது போன தடவை வந்து போன செமினார்ல வந்து இட் இஸ் செக்ரீஷன் ஃப்ரம் டிஃபரெண்ட் கிளான்ஸ் இட் இஸ் அ லிக்விட் விச் இஸ் இந்த லிக்விட் ஃபார்ம் அது வந்து மேலுக்கு ஃபிமேலுக்கு டிஃபரன்ஸ் இருக்கலாம் மேபி விசிபிளா இருக்கலாம் அல்லது இன்விசிபிளா இருக்கலாம் இந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் ஒரு ஒப்பீடியன் வந்தது ஐ திங்க் லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் நீங்க எழுதி நினைக்கிறேன் சார் அவங்க சுந்தரமூர்த்தி அதை பத்தி கொஞ்சம் கொடுத்தாங்க அதுக்கு பின்னாடி வந்து அவரு முரளின்னு சொல்லி ஒருத்தர் அவங்க கொடுத்தாங்க சுந்தரமூர்த்தி ஐ திங்க் நவ் யுவர் பிரசன்ட் யூஆர் கியர் நவ் நீங்க கொடுத்த வியூ டாக்டர் சொல்றது ஃபார்ம்லஸ் சொல்றதும் எனக்கு <laughs> Mm-hmm. is the secretion of the testes mm-hmm. namely the sperms and it is a, a ovum which has come out which is staying in the uterus mm-hmm. rest of that all fluids which are secreted mm-hmm. seminal vesicle mm-hmm. the container mm-hmm. of the sperms mm-hmm. that secretes so many 60% of the fluid so mm. these are all components of the ejaculate mm. and where is this process taking place mm. at the center of the human body near the genetic center mm. in the genetic center what do you have apart from these tissues glands structures you have and the common uh denominator common background material is svf and svf at the region of the genetic center is highly dense large quantity of svf condensed there and is remaining just like life force particles grouping together side by side like a sheet of life force particles they there so here also the uh, the vital fluid in the region of the genetic center they are highly concentrated in this highly concentrated medium the ejaculate is expelled so it goes along with the semen or the female uh, ejaculated the material and they this thing the high quantity of vital fluid which is present in semen doesn't mean that it is semen both are different and as long as the vital fluid keeps company keeps nourishes the sperms they are alive and they navigate through with vim and vigor if the vital fluid is becoming deficient the sperms lose their motility and they become weak and they even die before they reach the sperm so it is the svf which is different from sperm or ovum is responsible for sustenance of the life of the sperm outside our body before it merges the cell so both are different and we it is very easy for anyone to confuse just like telling that divine dust particles is magnetism there is a clear differentiation the divine dust particle should dissolve in space then only it creates magnetism 
similarly the vital fluid is vital for the conception to take place for sustenance of the sperms to reach the until it reaches the egg and penetrates the egg it is essential and we see in clinical uh, practice there is no block in the uh, female genital tract ovaries are fine ovulation is good the uptake of the egg uh, into the fem fimbrial tubes is also good the localization in the uterus is also good everything is fine and uh, you examine the sperms the sperms are immediately when tested they are good number required number and motility everything is there but surprisingly they don't conceive in such cases the probable hypothetical explanation is the at quantity of vital fluid there was not sufficient to continue the this thing okay dr perumal okay okay sir okay sir uh, i accept sir yes uh you you are uh, one thing sir what uh, sperm uh, eggs they are mostly presented was uh. now uh, the fact about the issue okay so sir one more one more thing i want you uh, clarification see uh, we do accept that sperm and egg are different from the vital fluid So vital fluid is the carrier for the sperm and the egg to, to, to it, the different it, places it coming. Not, it is not the carrier. It is not the carrier. It is the ground in which the sperm and the uh, sperm is moving. Ovum is located in the uterus. It doesn't come out. So when the ovum comes out, it has to come to the uterus. So what? Uh, some kind of liquid, some mobility should be there. Some. some see as some it lubricants will be there as it leaves the ovary mm. and into the abdominal cavity mm. it has the vital fluid surrounding in it mm. and once it gets into the fallopian tube mm. fimbria and fallopian mm. tube and mm. reaches the uterus mm. there it so th this point actually sir because because almost in uh, in uh, all our trial patterns the masters they assume the vital fluid as a liquid uh, not as a in the vital fluid maybe carrying the energy that energy can be called as ovaries but the vital fluid what we say as a seven to tadu is generally imagine as a liquid and the liquid may be the secretion from the different parts uh, uh, in the reproductive system may be there so we different the sperm egg go is vital fluid illa the different people are correct adu utkar sari but it's it is not uh, the formless in solradu vand uh, it should be in the form like a liquid uh, liquid nam fluid nu solikalam thappu kediyadu but that, that may be the, is, uh, that is called it is vital fluid hmm. and uh, the entire so in or or edathula kuda sir or edathula vand there are some examples from samujis mukal so ஒரு பேட்டரிக்குள்ள ஆசிட் எப்படி அந்த சார்ஜ் பிடிச்சு வச்சுக்குதோ அதாவது நம்ம பேட்டரி சார்ஜ் பண்றோம் டிஸ்சார்ஜ் பண்றோம் அந்த மாதிரி நம்ம உடம்புக்குள்ள நம்மடைய எனர்ஜியை சேர்த்து வைக்கக்கூடிய இடம் தட் எனர்ஜி இஸ் ஓஜஸ் சேர்த்து வைக்கக்கூடிய இடம் வைட்டல் ஃபுளூட் அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி ஒரு ஒரு கோட் இருக்கு நம்ம சாமிஜி கொடுத்துக்கூடிய காயல் பம்புக்குல வந்து பேட்டரி காட்டி பேட்டரிக்குள்ள இருக்கக்கூடிய ஆசிட் உதாரணம் காட்டி அந்த ஆசிட் தான் அந்த சார்ஜ் பிடிச்சு வைக்கிறது காரணம் சொல்லி சொல்லி இருக்கு so similarly there should be some secretion some liquids may be there in the reproductive system they are responsible for carrying uh, uh, taking the energy within the body that energy may be called as uh, ovaries so during the asani mutra as like the churning effect occurs that energy may be separated from the vital fluid so that we take in different form which you call as the kyle pop practice so idu konjam nam und பூராவுமேர்ச்சுனேட்லி
எனர்ஜி அதுக்கு வந்து நம்ம வந்து மேசி ஃபார்ம் கொடுக்கறது இல்ல இட் இஸ் ஃபார்ம்லெஸ் சிமிலர்லி நீ வந்து when you say it's a formless how that can be secreted from the glands glands so, from the secretion from the glands it, it should have some liquid form the, some kind of form it should have it is evolving from the marrow so when it something is, is coming out from marrow it should have it should, it should be made up of, as like nama ivar sonna nama pandran atoms and molecules are made up of it na that will form on the form of maybe visible or invisible but it should be in the form one oh, minute sir i have shown you the pictures of the fruits various vegetables fruits cut section cut net adile central canal adile enna irukenga ya connecting the stem and the flowering part of it adile rendu connect pandra axis or axis which runs through the fruit yes என்ன இருக்குங்க ஐயா பெருமாளையா சொல்லுங்க 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 அதுல என்ன இருக்குதுங்க ஐயா நான் என்னத்தை காட்டினேன் அந்த படத்துல இல்லீங்க அப்படி நீங்க காமிச்சீங்கயா இப்ப இது வந்து நம்ம மறுபடியும் போடணும் இதுல வந்து என்னன்னா பாட்டனியை நம்ம டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணணும் வாட் ஆர் தி திங்ஸ் மேட் அப் ஆஃப் தேர் இன் பார்க்கணும் அது நம்ம போகணும் ஐயா இப்ப வந்து என்னன்னா நமக்கு இது ஃபார்ம் ஆர் ஃபார்ம்லெஸ் அதை மட்டும் நம்ம கொஞ்சம் Suppose, if you discuss and control it, we will have a separate discussion with the doctors and we will have a vital fluid in the form of formless. That's the first one. We will discuss it. The shape is all about the formless. Sir, 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 the shape is all about the formless. Mm-hmm. in the idle vital fluid and the other chemicals all put together <coughs> tadus put together form the uh, pulp outer skin ella varudhu ulla varumbodhu central la enna irukkunga vetridam than irukkudhu என்னஸ் <laughs> இருக்குது <laughs> 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 நியூக்ளியஸ்குள்ளோர என்ன இருக்குது நியூக்ளியோலஸ் இருக்குது அந்த நியூக்ளியோலஸ் அதில் பார்க்கும்போது அதனுடைய சென்ட்ரல் என்ன இருக்குது அந்த சென்ட்ரல் பாயிண்ட் இஸ் அ ஸ்டேஷனரி பாயிண்ட் வெற்றிடம் அது இல்லாமல் ஒரு ஸ்ட்ரக்சரே கிடையாது வெற்றிடம் தான் இருக்குது வெற்றிடம் தான் சொல்ல முடியுமா இப்போ நான் அதே தான் சொல்லிட்டு கொஞ்சம் <laughs> 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 நீங்க அசோகன் சார் நீங்க உங்களுடைய ஆயுர்வேதத்துல வேற என்னென்ன இருக்குதோ எல்லாத்தையும் கொஞ்சம் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் கொஞ்சம் நீங்களும் கொஞ்சம் பாருங்க பாத்துக்குவாங்க
ஒன்னும் <laughs> 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 Ojas, what is the nature of the Ojas? Is it with form or formless? What is the... That's where you are. 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 But if you are not a child, from the sexual vital fluid, you get the Ojas. Yes, sir. Do you have any reference to that? ஒன்னு <laughs> 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 பாருங்க only in this way if we have any other interpretation we are mm. getting struck in the middle then we can analyze anything and we will see any other explanation will be and will be facing at the end so other mm. even you can uh, think about uh, the presentation in two ways either you can present it in the, uh, approach it in the positive way taking that this may be right the other way this is wrong at that approach you can proceed but whatever this thing when we discuss next it will be we will be able to come to a consensus opinion it will be one opinion only truth cannot be many சாமிஜி மத்தம் இந்த ஜெனடிக் சென்டர் பார்த்தாரு வைட்டல் ஃபுளூட பார்த்தாரு ஏன் மத்தவங்க எல்லாம் பார்க்கல மத்தவங்க யாரும் சொல்லல ஒரு பதினஞ்சு இருபது வருஷத்துக்கு முன்னாடி to talk mm. about the shukradadu abdin mm. sali ana oh, yesterday yesterday uh, day before yesterday dr devi uh, dr ananda ela nam pesikittirukum bodhi she has given some references and the reference which paakala we will be able to get it it okay sir okay, okay sir, sir okay sir okay sir okay sir okay. பலதரம் <laughs> 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 
அத நம்ம டாக்டர் அறந்த தனசேகரன் அது அது வந்து கான்கிரீட்டா சொல்லல அதை பத்தி மைண்ட்ஸ் <laughs> 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 so they go with some different questions now i think we we ought to answer all the questions in the next time so we ourselves will get prepared for that sir we will have a discussion and prepare that so thank you very much for this uh, interactive session sir world cover amount and five for amounts sir students ku oreo suggestion matum sonnidunga sir indha mari interaction vandu students nariya panna da avangalukku vandu aama aama indha interaction da avangalukku varana da nam edhu paarkrom அவங்களுக்குறாங்கன் <laughs> என்னென்ன <laughs> 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 என்னென்னா <laughs> 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 இன்டர்நெட்ல <laughs> 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 சரிங்க நீங்க அதே மாதிரி நீங்க மறுபடி வேற ஏதாவது இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் டேட்டாஸ் கிடைக்குமா கலெக்ட் பண்ணி பாருங்க நீங்களும் முயற்சி பண்ணி பாருங்க அவ்வளவுதாங்கய்யா வேற யாரும் பண்ணலைங்க சரி நம்ம கன்க்ளூட் பண்ணிக்கலாமாங்க ஐயா டாக்டர் ஐயா முடிச்சுக்கலாங்களா ரவிதா சார் நன்றி ஐயா நன்றி முடிச்சுக்கலாம் ஆஹ் சரி இப்ப சுபாஷினி அப்ப நீங்க ஓட் ஆஃப் சார் சொல்றாங்க சொல்லி முடிச்சுக்க on the behalf of uh, all the research scholars i would like to thank all the dignitaries for their interesting and resourceful conversation in front of us i would like to call upon our research scholar mrs parimala to deliver vote of thanks thank, thank you shubhashri thank you so much vaalga vayagam vaalga vayagam vaalga vadam i am privileged to render my vote of thanks at this stage i take this opportunity to thank our dear dr k permalaya director wcsc vision research for his untiring efforts in uplifting our knowledge his continuous 
webinar uh, series is outcome of his tireless efforts. Thank you so much, Aya. Thank you so much. Be blessed by the divine body. Today's resource person, Dr. Rabindranath Aya. Today's session is a brainstorming, eye-opening, deep, divulging talk on uh, Kai Kalpa, sexual vital fluid, and the discussions are very interesting. Aya, thank you so much. Thank you. Again, uh, I thank all the mentors of our, our research, uh, that is our research supervisors. Thank you. Thank you all. I thank one and all the staff members and volunteers who are all at the back stretch and making this webinar series a successful one. Thank you, dear friends. Be blessed by the divine. And finally, without dear friends, my fellow researchers, without you all, this wouldn't have happened. This, you're all making this webinar series a success. I request all of you, please do continue your support for the forthcoming uh, webinars also. Thank you all. I personally thank all the organizers who gave me this opportunity to deliver uh, my vote of thanks. And uh, you should excuse me, I uh, forgot to mention our resource panels, uh, Dr. Sudantra Devi, Dr. Shanmugavilaya, Dr. Adantakmar, and Dr. Jay Kashaya, this full team who used to support and uh, mentor us. Thank you, dear research uh, panel, research panel also. Thank you so much. So uh, with this, I conclude my vote of thanks. Thank you all. Thank you, Parimala Ma. Aya, shall we conclude the session with the Ulakanala Walpaya? So, this is for uh, volunteers, uh, scholars, and guides consideration. So next time we will discuss whether we can have it the same in the evening or in the morning. That other class will be discussed. But even that, we have to consider this. I am telling you, Dr. Kanan Dukhwar, that evening when they are in the room, or the morning when they are in the room, we will get to it. We will get to it in the morning. We will get to it in the evening. So now we will not have to wait for the evening. We will get to it in the evening. So in the next class, with all other volunteers, we will discuss and we will take a decision. Walt Tower. Sir, message is answered by Dr. Anantakumar. Yes, yes. Madam, answer is answered by Dr. Anantakumar. Yes, yes. The time is the evening. The morning is the morning. Yes, yes. If you have 10 to 1, you can have 9 to 12. But 9 to 12, we have a little bit of time. We have a little bit of time. We have a little bit of time. So, 10 to 1 may be convenient for all the people. If all the people feel like that, the next class will decide, not now. Okay, sir. 10 to 4, 1, yes, no problem. Next class will be only in the evening. Evening that will come. Upon our care to Papa, suppose if all accept for the morning class, then we will try for it. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. But suppose we put number in the middle class. Okay. Well, yes. well, peace, prayer.
வாழ்க்கை வளமுடன் 